Today I'm taking a look at the Milo M.2 SATA duplicator. So this is the case. This is an all metal case. We got a couple of screw holes there in the bottom. In the back we got our power port. We got our LEDs, type C connector, power button, clone button, our progress indicator, and whether or not we want to go from NVMe to SATA or from SATA to NVMe. On the front we do have some ventilation and this is the heart of the unit. So this is a plastic case. We can put our SATA drive here on the bottom and our NVMe drive on the top. We got our power supply. It's good for 100 to 240 volts. So it's good for international or domestic and it outputs three amps at 12 volts. We got a USB-C to USB-A cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. We have a very very thick thermal pad, a screwdriver, some screws, and our buttons. So I'm going to put my button on the drive, drop this in. It is important to note that this is just for NVMe hard drives. Then for the SATA connection, you can either put a 3.5 inch drive and screw that in on the sides, or we can put a 2.5 inch drive and screw that in from the bottom. So right now with the switch to the right, it is going to record from the SATA to the NVMe. I actually want to go from the NVMe to the SATA. Okay, so we can see that it is reading both drives, so I'm going to press and hold clone. Now they're flashing, I'll press it again. Okay, and we are cloning. Okay, and we have got a clone. So now I'm going to plug the USB-C cable into my laptop and we picked that up right away and that is reading those files. So to my computer, we are only showing the one drive. So right click disk management so there we can see our new drive right there so i'm going to right click and make that online and we are seeing all the same files now right now it says it's 465 gigabytes i want to use that full one terabyte so i'm going to extend the volume next 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 finish and now we got that drive so now i have both a d and a new e drive and i want to make sure can i actually copy from one drive to the other using the computer and we can so that's good so that means we actually can access both the sata and the nvme at the exact same time not all of these can do that this one can and just to make sure we can write to both hard drives at the same time as well and the last thing i want to do is a speed test Okay, so those are some excellent speeds. We are looking at a good 10 gigabit per second on that data transfer. So that's pretty cool. There is not a lot of enclosures or even devices that can copy from a SATA to an NVMe or vice versa. They can usually do one or the other. This one is actually capable of doing both and either direction. So this is an awesome enclosure. If you're trying to upgrade from an old SATA to a new NVMe, this is going to be the best tool for that job. So I'm very happy with that.